Hi, moving along to images as arrowheads. If you haven't seen the first of this series, animating arrows in After Effects, now might be a good time to do it. Now we have already our arrow shaft as a dashed line, and we're going to use some clip art as our image. So drag it on top. Now go up to the Pan Behind tool, select it, and move the anchor point to somewhere around about where you think the shaft will be coming out. In this case, maybe around the centre, or we might even put it at the end. Select the layer, scale it down, S, and scale it down to whatever you think would be the right size. So in this case, it's 22. Shape, layer 1, toggle it open, contents, shape 1, path 1, make sure that's toggled open, select the path, and then command Control c to copy it, then going up into your image, select it, open it up, toggle it open, make a key frame for position and then command control V which will place the image on that path. With your image still selected go into your layer, transform and down the bottom auto orient, select orient along path, OK and now your image will move with your stroke. Now you can see there it's all a bit peculiar and that's because the anchor point is not quite in the right position. Now, very important, don't use the pan behind tool, use the anchor point here to change it. So at the moment we might need it to be a little bit uh, higher up and you can fiddle here for quite a while. You can change the angle also of uh, the piece you're working with and maybe a little bit further forward as well. So in this case, we'll put it around the center of the car and make sure that the image is hiding the, where the arrows are actually appearing. So now, away we go. If you're finding that the angle is a little too steep, and this often happens on corners, go to where you can see the angle, go to your pen tool, hover over the keyframe, and the pen tool will turn into a little V, which means it's going to change the type, and click. Go back to your selection tool, and now play with these angles so that you get a gentle curve as it comes around the corner. It takes a little bit of fiddling but you can do it so that it uh, isn't going too far off the path. Again it'll take you a while to do it but that's a little bit smoother. Now you might start having a bit of fun with it. So you can put some smoke, some particle smoke behind him. As you're going, fairly straightforward. Or for example, you might, so using another image from Open Clip Art, use the Puppet Tool to do an animation. And then you can do a couple of fun things like which came first, the chicken or the egg? Really up to you and your imagination. We'll be moving on to some fancy arrows and making them look a little bit different in the next session. See you then.